Hey, uh, welcome to It's a V-Dub Thing again. Uh, this video is something completely different. It's not even Volkswagen related. Those of you that know me uh, will know that my profession is working in the film industry. I'm a mould maker and prop maker by trade and I also do prosthetics and makeup. Um, recently I've been asked by a, a good friend of mine to uh, make him an ET. He goes to uh, car shows the same as what I do uh, but he's also into BMX and he owns one of the BMXs that is featured in the film. Uh, and he's asked me to make him an ET to go in a crate in the front of his BMX. I started it off by sculpting over an armature which had two 2.5 inch eyeballs attached to it. The reason for this is because the actual puppet that was used in the film had the same size eyes so I knew that the whole the head that I was ma sculpting or making uh, was going to be exactly the same size as the puppet which is what the plan was. He wanted the face to be as close to the one in the film as possible. After this I made a fiberglass mould. Uh, it's a one piece mould over the whole thing. But what had to happen was once I got the clay out of the inside of this mould, uh, the whole of the inside had to be clayed out again and a core made. And that core had to be smaller so it could release. Uh, because there's so many undercuts on the sculpture that when I pour it with silicon, if I didn't make a core, that silicon would never come out of the mould. Then I poured it in silicon through the back of the plug and then pulled the plug out, pulled the silicon away from the inside of the mould and put that silicon back, back on the plug. Once the silicon was properly cured over a few days, it was then ready for paint. Uh, the paint is the hardest part for me because I'm not a painter. I can do it, but I'm not great at it. So the paint itself was made out of oil-based paints, um, caulking silicon and white spirit mixed together and, gone, and it sprayed through an airbrush. When the white spirit evaporates, the paint and the silicon dry as a silicon. So once they're on that silicon face, it won't come off again. Once the painting was finished and left to dry for a few days uh, it was then ready for the eyes because as you can see by the pictures it has just generic eyes in there at the moment that haven't got any irises. So what I had to do is make my own because you can't go to a shop and buy eyeballs that are two and a half inches big. Uh, you have to make them yourself so the, the way I did this was to uh, make a mould of the balls that you find in a, a ball pen. You know, like the children's ball pens? They are exactly two and a half inches big in diameter. To make the eyes, I had to find an image of E.T.'s eyes. Uh, because I needed to know what the irises looked like. But there was an issue with this because the only images I could find of E.T.'s iris were on pictures of E.T. So the eyes were already circular. So the irises either had a shadow or they had reflection on them. So I got the best picture off Google of the irises that I could find, uh, which had a uh, reflection going across the eye. Uh, put that into Photoshop and removed the reflection. So I just had the flat iris all, uh, without any reflections, any shadows, nothing. It was uh, perfect iris. That was then printed onto water slide paper. Um, using the mould I had for the eyes I was then able to cast polyurethane eyeballs and polish those up then add the water slide paper version of the iris onto the eyeball. This was then smoothed out so there's no creases and once that was completely dry I lacquered over the top about four, five, even six layers of lacquer to make it thick 
that way it looks like it's got a glass film over the iris and makes the eye look almost transparent on the outside like our eyes do. This was then put into the ET head and the, then the ET head was basically finished. I'd done what I needed to do. On Wednesday I went to the uh, Wedding Garden City Dubbers uh, meet over at the Crooked Chimney in Wheat Hampstead. Uh, that's where I was meeting my friend Paul and to basically give him the ET head that I'd made for him. Um, he was ecstatic with it which is great and since then he's been sending me pictures of what he's been doing to it next because all he needed was the face. What he's now done is made a bracket to put the face on to build out the back of the head and to make a body which will then be covered with a, a white blanket and then put in the crate on the front of his bike. So here it is all finished ready to go on the bike. I'm happy the way it's turned out. I know this isn't a Volkswagen video like what I'm meant to be doing but in the picture the ET is actually in a Volkswagen Caddy and for making this for the, my friends I am actually having some work done to my T4 which you'll see in my next video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like the video, share with everybody and hit that bell. Thanks very much everyone.